What's going on, Chaos Nation? It's your boy Kendrick Gray, the Jedi, but I'm back with my first ever double movie review. Here, I'm going to be talking about two movies that deal with the same subject, the multiverse. Here, we're going to be talking about Parallels, which dropped in 19... 2015, and Parallel, which dropped in December of 2020, actually. Um, I watched Parallel last night with my fiance, thinking it was going to be the other movie, which is Parallels, but on. Um, but ironically, they are not the same movie. Parallels, of course, was dropped in 2015. Tells the story of a sibling and a friend who, by request of their father, is sent is asked to go meet him, only to discover that he's not at home. They are directed to a building that happens to transport people inside the building to an alternate universe within, and you are stuck in an alternate universe within a window of 36 hours. They travel to a multitude of multi on um, on parallel universes. It's been a while since I've seen the film, so you gotta bear with me. I forget how many actual universes they actually traveled to. But the main premise of the story is everyone's trying to figure out why and how the building does what it does. Um, anyone who comes steps inside of it is essentially transported to an alternate universe. Um and no one knows any real way to get back to the main universe. I thought it was a very interesting premise. It lends itself to be more of a science fiction adventure film as opposed to like a horror movie. Um, most movies or most things dealing with the multiverse tend to go into the adventure side. Unlike Parallel. Parallel, which is a movie that dropped, which is actually made in 2018, but was released here in America at the end of 2020, December. Um, it is actually a Canadian sci-fi thriller. Um, that movie centers around a group of friends, four friends to be exact, that, you know, stumble upon a secret room in their house with a mirror that allows them to travel to multiple universes. So it's essentially a portal or a gateway or whatever you want to call it. Um, two of the um, main characters, um, Devin and Noel, are actually app developers who are trying to get an app, you know, off the ground. They are given a time frame of maybe a couple of days to have it fully operational. Um, while doubting themselves and feeling defeated, uh, two of their other friends, um, Lena and Josh, stumble upon the secret room that houses the mirror, that houses the portal to the alternate universe. They all decide to have a little fun in the beginning, of course, trying to learn different things about the different alternate universes that they travel to. For instance, they learn that if you go by yourself, you'll end up in one universe. If somebody else goes and right behind you, they'll end up in a different universe. The only way you can ensure that you have traveled, both travel to the same universe is if you both go in at the same time. So needless to say, they all happen to do that. They end up spending the alternate universe versions of themselves money. They start to learn about different things about the universe. For instance, there's a situation where they discover the Mona Lisa. And the Mona Lisa's hair is actually cut short as opposed to being long in our universe. They stumble across a old DVD that has Ryan Gosling and I think somebody else playing Frankenstein. Eventually, they come to the realization that there's a lot more things happening in this alternate universe than is happening in their prime universe. The lead character, Noel, discovers that there's different technologies in the alternate universes and he starts taking them for himself and bringing it to the main universe as a way of not only making money, actually really that's the only thing he's doing it for is to make money, to bring these different technologies to give them to the world and eventually make money off of it. Things get turned upside on upside on its head. Uh, Lena, she starts to take art from multiple universes and copies them and passes off at her as her own to become a famous artist. Devin, who is actually dealing with the loss of his father who committed pseudo suicide, he's been he's traveling to multiple multiple universes so he can sit down and actually talk with his father. The only odd one out of the bunch, or the only one who's not really doesn't really have a stake in the parallel universes is Josh. But unfortunately things happen to him that are very devastating. Very devastating. Like I said, parallels lends itself to be more of parallel. Lends itself to be more of a psychological or science fiction thriller as opposed to parallels just more of a science fiction adventure movie. Um at the end of the day, I enjoyed both. I think I enjoy parallels more than I enjoy parallel. 
um parallel is a very self-contained story it only takes place it really takes place mainly in our universe um so when they travel to the alternate universes we spend a little bit of time in there but not too much time to recognize too many of the differences here um parallel does lend itself to touch on the mandela effect to a to a small degree specifically particularly with the character of josh and of course you know it's just uh, it's a it's, it's, it lends itself to being more of a cautionary tale like if we did if we were able to travel to parallel universe what would we do with what we discovered will we take that and use it to our benefit or we just leave it alone and just explore as opposed to parallels which is just a happenstance situation where it's like you get caught in another universe and now you gotta try to figure out what are you gonna do and how you're gonna get back and how much time do you have to you get back it's a very interesting premise very interesting concept for both parallels and parallel so if you guys get the chance to check them both out my ratings for both movies are i give parallels a 8 out of 10 and i give parallel a 6.5 out of 10. i find parallels to be the more engaging movie um parallel is definitely more thought-provoking and very like i said is very grounded in what will happen in this universe uh, one of the biggest things that I kind of saw coming, but I thought was still interesting, was that the main character actually kind of, from what I can tell, struck a deal with his alternate universe self to do the things that he was doing throughout the movie. He was slowly becoming unhinged, becoming more power hungry and success driven. Again, Parallels doesn't have that dynamic. It's really just these three individuals and one other just trying to figure out how the hell this whole Parallel Universe building works and why is it a thing why is it a thing but i highly suggest you guys check out both movies definitely give both movies a watch um if you're again if you're like me and you're interested in the things dealing with the multiverse i think you'll definitely enjoy these things a great deal like i said i enjoyed parallels more than i enjoyed parallel so that, that that's just my take you know you can you can do whatever you want with it but definitely check it out um You'll most likely have to pay for Parallels if you can find it somewhere on a streaming service. Again, I saw Parallels on Netflix. That's where I first saw it. Um, Parallel is actually available on Amazon Prime for free. So if you have an Amazon Prime account, you can definitely check it out there. Parallels might be a little bit hard to find. So if you can find it somewhere where you don't have to pay for it, cool. But if you only way you watch it is to pay for it, then it is what it is, folks. In any case... Post your comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought about my review for Parallels and Parallel. This is my first double review. This might be something I'm going to try to do in the near future. Um, if you enjoyed my review, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. Let me know what you thought about these movies. If you've seen Parallels and Parallel, if you've seen one, the other, or both, let me know what you thought about the movie and what you, let me know what you think about the concepts of both movies. Of course, share the video with all your friends and, of course, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy what you see. I'm out. Peace.